What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Cloak to Grandmaster. In the last episode, we beat our highest opponent yet, a 5.2k MMR Protoss in an absolutely epic macro game with mass banches and really cool nukes. We ended up reaching exactly 5,000 MMR, which is a really big milestone. Let's keep it going. All right, the first game of the day is against Man Beyond, a Grandmaster Terran. Oh, he has the really cool portrait. I never got that one. I'm pretty sure that was one of the, you know, you had to get it in a beta or something like that, like 12 years ago portraits. At least I think that's what it is. I always thought it was very cool, but sadly, I don't have it. Now, Terran, ooh, that is going to be a pretty tough matchup here for Cloak. I feel like we haven't... I, I could be wrong here, but I feel like we haven't gotten the Terran since I got back at it after like a two month break. So, you know, I'm going to be a little rusty here. I feel like we mostly played Protoss player. Have, have we played anything besides Protoss players, actually? I really, for some reason in my head, we have quite literally only played Protoss player. I think it's been two episodes. I wouldn't be surprised if it was six Protoss players. Might have been one Zerg in there, maybe one Terran or something that I forgot about. But anyway, now I do think the focus here is going to be pretty similar to TVP, where we have to get Banshees and Widow Mines out first. Now here, sadly, Ghosts are not going to be as useful. I think Ghosts are the most useful against Zerg. They're also really good against Protoss, but against Terran... I mean, if you really get to the late game where, let's say, I have Planetary here and here and here, just Planetaries everywhere, then Nukes, they're going to be pretty good. You know, maybe I can EMP the Ravens, I can nuke his bases. That's going to be pretty all right, but besides that... I mean, ghosts are just pretty awful in TVT. They get absolutely annihilated by all of the mech units. They, I guess they trade decently against Reapers and Aliens, but I don't really think that's the unit Yoda we were making in the early game against those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus uh, on getting a good amount of Widow Mines out, spread them across the map to kill Cyclones, Reapers, Aliens, etc. Then try to outplay him with my Banshees. And then once I have a decent setup, I will be going for some ghosts and hopefully get some good nukes off. I think there's some decent locations here where you can nuke into the natural. Maybe from the low ground here into the third. Doesn't look all bad. So that does promise a little bit of entertainment for the late game. Now, I don't think we've been SCP scouted. That's always a little suspicious. Let's see. Wait, did I just attack the rocks? It looked like it. No, we didn't. Okay. The second depot is here. This is uh, very likely just a double gas factory expand like me. Um, I'm only allowed to make one Reaper. I could make Marines. No, I think I'll just go for a Reactor right away. I feel like making Marines here, it would just cost so much money and delay my expansion. I don't think I really want that. And then I'll start... So I could either switch the factory over, put it on the Reactor, and start producing tons of Widow Mines for the map. But I have learned... I don't remember which video I learned this in, but I have learned this from another video. Oh, this is big. Here we go. Yeah, it is a really good start. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill that because that was a good grenade, but that is already quite nice. Uh, but I learned that if you make reactor widow mines all the time, it it's just too freaking expensive and you're not going to be able to evolve at all. And that's the thing here, right? Like Cloak to GM, you know, the, the units are pretty good, but if you don't make anything else, if you don't get enough economy to actually make, let's say, three star for the Banshee or get those nukes up, it's just not going to be that great. Now, the first Widow Mine it has to go at the front. I, I think I'm going to go for a double Starport here. I think I'm going to go for double Starport Banshee. The Marines can go up there. going to make my Starport first. And then I'm going to go for two more Marines. Those are going to be the last Marines that I'm going to build. Now, normally there's only one Widow Mine here. So two Widow Mines should be a pretty adequate defense. Let's saturate this gas. Start saturating the natural soon as well. Now, I do wonder. I, I'm not sure if we played against this before. But a very common strategy is to go for, let's say, I think it's five Reapers and three Hellions. Yeah, eight units. Five Reapers, three Hellions, or even four Hellions. And just run into the natural, right? That's a pretty common strategy. But if someone would do that when I have three Widow Mines, not just one, but three, that could be pretty, pretty crazy. I do think I need another gas here. Now I'm going to switch over that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he did actually do it. Okay, lost a ton of units already. Now I'm going to put this Widow Mine over here. If I target this right, I could kill both, I think. Watch this. I'm going to target that low HP Reaper. Oh, what well, good micro beam, I have to admit. That's really not bad. Uh, I'm just going to run away now. My Reaper in his base is also doing some damage. It's funny. He seems to be afraid of the Widow Mines, even though they are clearly not uh, recharged here. So now my Reaper fell. But I think this defense was good enough. I always worry about the early game here. We managed to survive it just fine, uh, which is going to be really nice. Now, I want to bet that he's going to jump up with the Reaper and scout in the main. I want to try stopping him from scouting the second Starport, at least. That would be devastating. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to pull the SCVs here to stop him. Let's see. He's not even... Okay, that's funny. 
My Marines are not... Oh, there we go. No, he's going to see it anyway. Yeah, it's so freaking hard. You can't really stop those with workers normally. I was praying that it would go well for me, but it is what it is. Now, I think I have to stop making Widow Mines. Let's save these uh, few SCVs that he's targeting. I have enough Marines to deal with it. Oh, he's not running away. Okay, that's nice. That Reaper could have been annoying for all time because I'm not going to build any fast units at all, right? So that could have been annoying forever, but now it's okay. Now, the biggest deal is that he scouted the second starport, and the worst part of all of it is that he scouted the double tech lab. Normally double starport. It's it's a pretty common build actually these days. You're gonna go for like a tank push. You have Ravens and you have extra Vikings because of the double starport. And that's what makes it so, you know, so tough to defend. You're gonna do a tank push but you have more air units than the other guy. So how can he keep control? But here, he, he pretty much knows exactly what we're doing. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna respond to that. I'm going to take my fourth cast as well. I have these two Widow Mines here. kind of wish I kept them at home because this drop is going to be pretty tough to defend now. Banshee is not going to be that good at defending and drop, even if they do manage to finish in time. Now, he could potentially be dropping... Okay, he is going to drop it as well. I thought. Just eight Marines. Okay, that's a very interesting drop, I have to say. I'm just going to run away for a little bit. Not going to lose that much because he uh, is not really going for anything too spectacular here. Here we go. This Banshee is going to do a pretty good job now. And then we're going to send this one into the main. At least I need to be careful that I have it with the SCVs. If he unloads in range, that is fine. Okay, he's going to waste a scan. He made a turret? Okay, I mean, talk about a 500 IQ missile turret. Oh, he has a lot of turrets. Huh. You know, I was going to say that is not a good strategy. But because his marine drop is doing so much damage, I think it actually turned into a good strategy. Which kind of pains me because I feel like I should have taken advantage of the situation here. I would have been in a great spot. But instead, we are going to find ourselves slightly behind. And why I say it's not that great of a strategy uh, is because that's just super expensive. Like an engineering bay plus all those turrets. Well, in reality, a raven and two cyclones does the same job. It's, it's not that great. Like his production is going to be delayed. It's... I don't know. It's a little wasteful, but considering how it played out, I, I have to applaud him for it. Like, he did a fantastic job at it, and now he's going to find himself in a pretty good spot here in this game. Now, it sucks for me that I just don't have enough Widow Mind to spread. I mean, I have these two at the front, but besides that, I I can't really defend the drops very well. Or maybe he's going to walk into that. That would be really nice. Okay, or, or fly into it, rather. Come on, just, just do it, man. You know you want to? Yeah, okay, that's one, I think. No, it's barely not one. God, okay, here we go. Okay, maybe he'll fly up. I don't know if he sees that. Pretty decent micro, but in the end, it's also a little bit wasteful at the same time, right? I can guarantee you guys he is not macroing during this, so I really don't mind. He's not going to fly over the Widow Mine, sadly. I'm pretty sure he just lost all of the units there. Look, how he made like five turrets, man. That is, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to burrow those two Widow Mines there. Guess I'll just go across. That is, looks slightly misplaced to me. Guess I'll just go across uh, and see if there's anything I can do. Now, for him, it would have been really good to just start making Vikings. So, I kind of imagine that he has Vikings already. I don't have Banshee speed yet. That is really, really unfortunate. Banshee speed would really tie this all together. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, I'm going to get a tank and a second tank. That is huge. That's going to make his push so much worse. Okay, there's a Widow Mine here. Might pop off on the Raven. It's not going to, unfortunately. No, still not. Okay, yeah, I really need speed here, guys. I can't believe that my Banshee speed was that late. I feel like I could have made it earlier, so that is 100%, um, you know, a pretty big mistake by me. Now, let's see. He doesn't have that many Cyclones, so, so the Cyclones I can kill, but he does have too many Vikings, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Where should I put these Widow Mines? I think I'm going to put two over here. That seems like a decent spot. Yeah, he's just making turrets everywhere. I feel like he's very aware. I, I wonder if he also knows who we are, because... Oh, that looked nice. I think it was just a Hellion in the end. But I, I feel like he wouldn't normally just make mass turrets because someone is opening with Banshees out on the map, right? So I want to say that our opponent, Man Beyond here, is a little bit aware of who we are. Now, what am I going to do here? I feel like I should go for the Ghost upgrades now, right? I feel like the Banshees... Yeah, well, I mean, they're still going to be useful, but they've kind of run their course in a way. Um... With all those turrets being out. Wait, maybe I could... Wait, actually, I think I have enough to just go for a counterattack here. This could be a pretty decent move. I'm just going to keep spreading with the mines. Yeah, he's just making mass turrets, exactly. He knows what we're up to 100%. Now, we are going to kill a lot of units here. This is quite nice. And this is also going to pull his units back, which is perhaps even better. I really like that scan. He didn't have any units nearby, but he still scanned. Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure if my Banshee was even going to kill that. 
I, I like how he keeps scanning, even though there were no units to kill. No, I do need to fly away. Thank goodness that now I do actually have my Banshee speed, else this would have been a, a medium-sized disaster. Now I'm gonna... Where's my ghost? Yeah, I'm gonna send this one ghost. Oh, I lost one. Okay, thank goodness I didn't lose the others. That could have been... Well, I don't want to speak too soon because I know he has turrets all over the map probably at this point, so maybe I'll still lose these to a random turret, but for now, looks like we're okay. Okay, I'm going to get 1-1 one, one for the ghost. Now, I'm just going to scan here so I can go back to my base in peace without having to worry about that. No. Is he moving out on the map yet? I can't see because I don't have a scan. Going up to five command centers. Do want all of my banshees back home, though. Yeah, the problem is that these turrets are also going to detect. So, I, I need a lot of luck to get past the freaking turret so I can actually do something. Okay, so he's over here now. Uh, maybe I could just go like this. Oh, I... Wait, did I cancel it or not? I don't think I did. Yeah, it sucks that I don't have my Widow Mines here. Like, that's going to make it very, very tough. Let's see. Yeah, I think I just drop a nuke right now. I think that's a pretty, a pretty decent play. Here we go. That's going to create a good amount of chaos. And that's going to allow me to snipe the Cyclones, I think. Yeah, this is, this is really nice. Look. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to allow us to snipe the Cyclones. That is so nice. There we go. We got all of them. Uh, no, I do still need a way to freaking defend my base. Now, that's the hardest part. Those are slow units, so I'm going to be able to kill all of those. There we go. The Banshee is doing a fantastic job, by the way. At this point, he has mostly Vikings. I mean, that's... I mean, it, it's good, but I don't know. My Banshees are just going for the counterattack all the time. I'm going to be able to cancel this base, and he's just going to end up having to go back. Maybe I can save that Widow Mine, even. I'm going to go for a second factory so I can potentially get um, Drilling Claws. That could be very, very nice. See, how many ghosts do I have? I have seven ghosts, I believe. Oh, I need to get away now. Yeah, look, look how many turrets he has everywhere. It's it's pretty crazy, really, the way this guy is playing. I mean, obviously, I'm the one playing Cloak, but I feel like the way he's playing, just expanding with mass turrets on the map, it's 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 maybe equally insane. I don't know. Or, or well, I don't, even, I don't even want to call it insane because it might sound negative. I think it's very cool the way he's playing. I should put it that way. I feel like it's very creative. I do like people that, you know, kind of know how to go out of the standard and just make, like, a really cool play happen oh this is beautiful watch this i think i'm gonna be able to kill the tanks and then uh i can get on top of the viking he's gonna land the vikings next to freaking all the those banshees are you crazy the widow mines are gonna shoot as well i'm gonna be able to kill the raven now that is massive he doesn't have uh, any detection here he does kill the base sadly for me and let's see, what do I do with these banshees? I feel like I need to uh, repair all of those. Oh, he's going to land them again. That's he, He's pretty crazy for landing those, I have to say. Like, I feel like if the banshees were any closer, he would probably cry. Because uh, I would kill all of them. Now, I do need to get some more command centers, guys. Because this is starting to get a little tough. I, I have some nukes. But it's also just not the best here. Like, I, normally I would go for more nukes, but... I don't know. Considering he has all the turrets on the map, do I really want to commit to that that much? I, I don't know, guys. I'm not really feeling the nukes right now. Let's try to get this base up over here. At least I can kill this turret camp. Uh, well, I don't want to sound too confident, but because he, because he might just attack me with a bunch of Vikings and that would be it, right? So, oh, I think I clicked away. Or maybe I didn't repair them yet. I either clicked them away. Oh, he's going to come forward. A widow mine. No, no. Can I under it? No, okay, that was... I mean, it was a good idea, but I guess it's not going to happen. I like how he, his scans are not good. I, I have to criticize him here. Like, scanning and... Okay, this is going to sound very rude. I don't mean it that way, but this is something I saw very frequently when I coach lower league players, like Diamond players or Platinum. May, may, maybe even lower than that. Like, I feel like it's kind of like a... Maybe even like a gold move where there's an invisible unit... And the reaction is to scan it, despite not having any unit nearby that can kill it. And that's what this guy is doing very consistently. And this guy is clearly way, way, way better than those leaks, right? Like, he's a grandmaster freaking Terran, but he still does it all the time. And I think it's, it, it's funny to see that even, you know, really good players have those tendencies that are, you know, not necessarily fitting to the league, you could say. Yeah, let's try to kill this Terrors. Terrors do so much damage against... Oh, it lived! What the hell? How did that survive? I was going to say, they do so much damage, and then I even let one live. Okay, can I... Yeah, I'm just going to go past here because I think it's just a decent distraction more than anything else. Like, I don't think this is necessarily a great move, but... Oh, he's going to... Ah, he's going to go for battle cruisers. I think that's going to be the end of it, guys. Battle cruisers have no counter in Cloak to Grandmaster, unfortunately. So now I think we're just left in uh, having to go for it. Yeah, I, I've never seen a sadder trade than Ghost against battle cruiser. I think. Like, it's just absolutely horrible. And that is, yeah, probably going to be it that he got this far into the game. And maybe I can bait him into the turrets. I guess I can 
try to go for um oh there we go let's run away I, I could try to go for building armor and stuff but realistically that is gonna be the game it's, it's a little anticlimactic but our opponent had survived long enough and now he has battle cruisers and this is probably not going to be a dub from us now there's always a chance that i get a fat nuke so it's not like i'm gonna give up i'm just gonna have to make an absolute crap ton of turrets here like so many freaking turrets I, oh, that one barely doesn't finish. That's kind of annoying. Maybe I can repair. There we go. I also have a lot of... Oh, let me get those over there. And maybe now is a good time for me to start doing some nukes. Oh, uh, for a second, I thought he lost some. Sadly, not the case. But okay, there are some more turrets. Going to be uh, doing a decent job at defending. And now, I think it's probably a good time for me to drop a nuke over here. Oh, he is going to kill that base, it looks like. Oh, can I burrow those? Where did he teleport? I don't know. Those were a lot of benefacts. They were about to head towards their doom. This nuke, I mean, it seems... Is he going to walk into it? No freaking way. Look, at that was not intentional. The whole 80 kills of that ghost. Okay, okay. Starting to like this game a little more now, guys. That's that's very, very cool. Now, is he going to try and kill the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he has so many battle crews already. I, I really think I should be stopping Banshee production completely and just go like mass Widowmine ghost at this point. Like, what else am I going to be able to do, right? Mass Widowmine ghost is probably the play here. I'm going to do another nuke. Let's see what I can find here. There is a tank over there that I would like to kill. I'm going to be able to kill that with my Banshees. I mean, there is a lot of utility here, right? Like, there is a crazy amount of utility in those units. I mostly just have to be very, very scared of the freaking battle cruisers because they will kill... Oh, there's another freaking tank. Ow. That hurts. Is he going to blink on top? He blinked somewhere. I don't know where... Oh, it was there. I didn't even see it. Yo, he's blinking, but the Widow Mines are reinforcing. Here we go. The Widow Mines doing a fantastic job, actually. <gasps> Even the Vikings all died pretty much. Look at that. Okay, beautiful. Now, I do have to run away. Like, without the Widow Mines, I have no shot here. Yeah, I, I, I legit think this would be one of the most impressive victories ever if I could potentially win this one. Because beating Battlecruisers with Ghosts, that sounds absolutely impossible, even if I'm thinking about it right now. Now, maybe I can snipe the tank that was over there. I feel like that tank was giving me a lot of trouble. And now, maybe it's actually time... Uh, they're just... Well, maybe I can sneak in later, to be honest. Maybe I can sneak in later. I think it's finally time to get some more Ghost Academies up. Though I didn't want to do it before, but now it might be a good time. I don't know how many workers I should be making. I feel like I should be having a lot of workers. Oh. Yeah, his, his defenses are really good. I, I, I thought at some point he would stop building siege tanks, actually. But he hasn't, unfortunately, for us. Okay, so those... I mean, the tanks are there. If there's not another turret over here, we could maybe sneak in and kill that. That's the plan. Okay, let's see. I, th I, th I would guess he definitely saw these. Maybe I can sneak there. I'm not sure if there's a turret up here. Let's see. Okay. Can I? I'm just going to give it a shot. Here we go. Maybe like a nice double nuke. This one, yeah, he's going to see them, so I do have to wait. And then I'm going to drop a nuke over there. Let's get a lot more turrets on this side. going to start making more and more nukes as well. I do need to make sure that he doesn't just fly by here. That'd be very annoying. Okay, so he saw this one. He he's pulling his SUVs to kill it, which is kind of funny, actually. Uh, but I guess... Yeah, I still got the tank. There we go. And now he doesn't have a scan anymore. Yeah, the SUVs didn't kill it in time. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Okay, there we go. Are those turrets going to finish? Okay, the turrets are going to finish. I I think it's barely not really enough turrets, though. I mean, the turrets are doing a great job. Yo, we actually killed one of the battle cruisers. Very nice. I mean, I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but uh, very, very, very cool here. Now, I, I did, did I get my drilling close? Oh, I, I did get drilling close. Oh, my God. I killed another battle cruiser there. Yo, somehow that was a decent trade. I mean, I guess the turrets finished just in time, but that was very cool. Now, let's see. I think I still need to focus on getting more nukes up. I got a couple of these Banshees back. He doesn't have this base yet, which is very nice. I, I do feel like he's playing pretty much the perfect game strategically here against what I'm doing. Like, he is... It's its its scary. It really is pretty scary. Okay, I'm going to surround this one with Vitamize. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that looks hilarious, actually. What a camp. Oh, there's a couple more battle cruisers on that side. Let's see. Let's see if, if, if I can somehow get in there. That'd be beautiful. Okay. Can I? No, he had another turret. Oh, okay, he saw straight through me. That's unfortunate. Let's get a couple more turrets here. Maybe I can get one of these BCs. Okay. If he's not paying attention. Can I get one? Yeah, we got one. Okay, beautiful. Uh, what are my upgrades now? I think, yeah, I think I'm about to get 3-3, right? Wait, so th this ghost died, or maybe I just F2'd it away, also very possible. I'm gonna try kill this tank now with these widow mines, and then I'll go in there. Let's see. I can probably just kill this liberator. It's gonna be pretty costly, but I can kill the liberator. Here we go. I'm gonna drop a nuke at the same time. Oh, I, I guess since my upgrades are pretty good, uh, it is better than I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. Uh, I imagine I killed a lot with that, but it didn't look like I did, surprisingly. 
Hey, look at this squad I have. He's going to go for that. Oh, that is scary by him. That is really scary, actually. He's crazy. What is he doing? The nuke. Oh, my goodness. That is a disgusting nuke as well. Dude, I can't believe how much we're able to make happen. And we got another nuke off as well. Dude, these nukes are going insane. I told you guys the ghosts aren't that great normally here. But they are freaking valuable as hell right now. Okay, let's see. I think I killed every... Yeah, look. Oh, no. The Vikings came back just in time. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to kill another tank. Yo, these nukes are actually efficient somehow. Like, I don't know how, but they are just... It's its crazy. I wonder what is... Oh, I made a Hellbat on accident. It's its a victory Hellbat. I, I, I wish I could snipe my own Hellbat, actually. That would make this a lot easier, but sadly not. It's gonna land again? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is way too many BCs, though. I think I need a lot more of these. It's gonna do a few Yamatos. That makes sense. I do have a lot of Widow Mines, so if he Yamatos again... I could potentially burrow underneath as a Yamato. I think I do need to start a few more, uh, what's it called? A few more SEVs now. I think that could be quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to nuke that now. I'm going to burrow all these Widow Mines here. That could be an absolutely massive play. Let's see. If he doesn't realize, that could be that could be insane. Yeah, I mean, he definitely realized, though. But just saying, if he didn't, <laughs> if he didn't, it would have been insane, guys. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so that's another turret dying. I like how he pulled away the SCVs now. And, and nukes, are, nukes are not that good, okay? I, I wish they were sometimes, but they're, they're not quite that good. I am out of scans, which is a little annoying. Okay, so he's going to go for that play. Let's see. Oh, those Widow Mines are going to pop off, though. Look. Oh, my God. That's a lot of damage from the Widow Mines. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back for those. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind having to go back, though. Let's see. I'll just keep dropping nukes everywhere. Okay. Widow Mines still doing a good job. I need to be so freaking careful, though. Let's see. Can I get some under... I don't think I'm going to be able to chase him. Like, Widow Mines are not good against BCs because you can't actually get under them. Yeah, I'm afraid there's too many battle cruisers here at this point, guys. Okay, I'm just going to keep dropping nukes all over the place. Yeah, I mean, if I have to keep running, we're just never going to be able to kill these. Can I get these couple at the back? And barely not, unfortunately, no. Okay, so he's going to be able to kill this ghost now. Well done by him to pay attention. And he does get out, but in the end, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how we survived this, I have to say. Didn't... Wait, that nuke went off? How did he let that nuke go off as well? Oh my goodness. You gotta be careful there, my guy. Okay, that's a lot of tanks. That's a lot of freaking tanks, guys, that we can go for right now. This is absolutely massive here. He does have a couple uh, too many uh, on the low ground there, but I think I'm gonna be able to kill all of these. Yeah, he's, he's targeting the planetary. That's automatic, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, tanks automatically shoot the planetary. I do need to be very careful with these ghosts because I would lose them. Okay, so we did some more damage. I'm going to try sneak all these SUVs over here. That'd be very... Oh, my God. He almost walked there. That would have been so, so good for us. Okay, let's see. Can I kill anything here? Maybe... I could, I could probably go for this tank, I think. Let's see. Because the tank is just hella annoying. Oh, my SUVs came into a very awkward... Uh, yeah, awkward path, you could say. That was not <laughs> entirely intentional there. Okay, maybe I should do another nuke on the left side. I, st I do still have a good amount of nukes. Let's see. I'm going to keep a couple Widow Mines sieged over there. Uh, you can nuke this. That sounds pretty nice to me. Let's get more turrets up. I can't believe how epic this game has become, by the way. Like, I'm pretty sure I said this game was over, like, a while ago. Oh, he's going to be able to kill that. That's unfortunate for us. Gee, let's get some more Widow Mines up here as well. Can I do a good nuke here? I think it would be a pretty decent nuke. Like, kind of over there. I'm running out of gas, guys. Oh, these are not saturated, actually, after the battle cruiser incident, I guess you could say. That is quite annoying. Let's see. Maybe I can just kill these. I think that would be decent, right? Yeah, okay. There's nothing here. I can just kill this. Keep in mind, he lost, like, all of his siege tanks. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think I reminded myself more than you guys, but he did lose all of his siege tanks. So that's really not bad. The Widow Mines? Okay, doing pretty decent. Man, I need so many freaking uh, turrets, though, to even have a chance here. Like, those, it's just so many battlecruisers, right? Okay, let's see. I'm going to do another nuke on that base. I mean, my economy might actually be competitive with his, which is pretty funny to say. Now, maybe these Banshees can kill the planetary. I do need to make sure that I don't um, lose my Banshees to the nuke. I was about to fly in with the Banshees already, but I should probably save them. Because, yeah, I got so many freaking turrets up here. Too. Oh, wait. Those are a bunch of tanks that I can kill as well. Very, very nice. Okay. We're making some stuff happen here, guys. Let's kill this one as well. There's so many turrets here that he's probably going to lose a couple of battle cruisers. Widowmine shoots as well. Okay, very nice. We're going to kill another tank here. Let's see. Yeah, he actually did lose a lot of battle cruisers there. That is beautiful for us. Okay, let's see. What do I need to do? 
I think I'm gonna put these widow mines over here and then start well my nukes are in production but they're not quite ready yet unfortunately oh that's another tank very very nice for us there we go I'm gonna nuke that over there gonna start making some turrets I mean he could blink on top of my ghost okay he's gonna blink there there's a there's a lot of turrets there as well guys look at the repair look at this repair this is pretty massive actually this raid is way better than it should be already can I kill one of them barely not it looks like okay let's take this base back now I don't think he has that many battle cruisers left but I also don't have a lot left right that's the problem here oh wait he uh, he lost a lot of stuff the banshees now have free reign here we go can I kill another one of these gonna kill the tank i think it's worth it oh barely couldn't get it that's unfortunate there okay, here we go i'm gonna put these widow mines over here make sure to start building a lot of oh man these freaking tanks everywhere they make it really really hard to play this game you know not 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 an enormous fan of this i have to say okay i'm gonna nuke there that should be all right let's try to get these turrets back up over here wait did i shoot something i, I don't think so i felt like i could have but i didn't okay so he's gonna go for the attack again i still have a lot of turrets over here so maybe there's a decent shot. He has 2-2 two, two only. I, I would have expected 3-3 three, three to be finished by now, but he has 2-2 two, two only. So let's see. Okay, one of them goes down. Another battlecruiser is going to die as well. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, it's just these, these ghosts are not trading well enough. Oh, I wish that turret was alive. It barely wasn't. He's going to let one of my turrets finish, though. That's quite nice. Let's see. Can I? Maybe. Yeah, the, I feel like the turret is doing all of the work here. Keep preparing that turret. Okay, the turret is doing so much work. Look at that turret, guys. We're going to kill another battlecruiser. Maybe another one. Oh, barely didn't get that last BC. Now, what do I have left? <gasps> he blinked on top of the wind wise. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, this game is so freaking awesome, actually. This is by far the best game of this show. Now, I have 20 SCVs left, which is just a, a little bit too tragic. I'm going to be able to... Oh, those are a lot of tanks that are exposed, guys. Here we go. This is massive. Let's kill all of those tanks here. That's four tanks, I believe, guys, that are exposed. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. And he's coming with the Marines, but he's walking through the Widow Mines and the Ghost. Everything pretty much goes down there. He does still have a good amount of BCs, though, so I'm going to have to run from those. Let's see if I can do a really good uh, really good nuke somewhere. Let's see. I feel like I feel like I want to do a double nuke, actually. Let's see. A double nuke could be very, very good here. Let's see. I'll go for a double nuke. I... More than anything, I just need to get my SCV count back up. My base on the right side is still alive. Barely, though. Like, it's not really alive, but it's kind of alive, right? God, I can't believe how much stuff I've killed for pretty much free this game. Okay, so that nuke didn't pop off, sadly. I do I do need these nukes to pop off, because he does still have a considerable amount of battle cruisers, unfortunately. Let's see, I'll do another nuke here. There we go. Start making some more turrets. Does he have the middle base back? He doesn't have the middle base back yet. I'm going to make more widow mines. Maybe I should fly this one all the way over there and get the base in the middle again. Okay. Oh, here we go. This could be nice. I only have one widow mine here, though. That's the problem. See, I guess I can EMP the orbital as well. He doesn't have units near, so that's pretty nice for us. I'm not going to be able to kill that, sadly. Where are the widow mines? Here they are. They're coming slowly. He has seven battle cruisers, I believe. The, the widow mine is doing a great job, though, I have to say. Really great job. I'm not, I'm not even making more ghosts at this point. I'm just kind of, you know, getting my nukes back up, I suppose. Let's see. Do I have SCVs available anywhere? Yeah, I guess these SCVs can come over here and build some more turrets. Now, these widow mines are basically just like a nice spotter for me at this point. Okay, let's see where these banshees gonna go he has one turret i guess i could probably annoy him a little bit there let's see okay so there's a lot of bcs on the on the right side here he's gonna go for the planetary which is a little bit of a funky choice i have to say okay, i'm gonna be able to attack that now he's gonna kill the turrets i luckily i still have a good amount of turrets and even some widow mines in the main base okay, is he gonna blink on top here I, I feel like he might, actually. I'm going to burrow these Widow Mines here already. I feel like he might be blinking on top there at some point. Okay. Is he here? Oh, he just a little bit too far back for me. Oh, that is so annoying. Come on. Why not into the Widow Mines, man? Why are you going to do me like that? Okay, so that nuke kind of popped off. I'll do another nuke over there. Let's see. Oh, the Widow Mines now? Please? Oh, those are massive Widow Mines. Let's go. That's exactly what we need. If we got a battle cruiser for our trouble as well. Keep in mind, he already used the blink. If I can stay on the outside of these battle cruisers, I can totally kill a couple, I think. One of them goes down. Let's see. What does he have here exactly? I'm going to have to nuke over there, I think. Those Banshees are not going to get the job done, I'm afraid. 
Let's see, I'm, I guess I might as well just start attacking. Oh no, he saw it in time. I think at this point we don't have enough bases left to keep this going. I feel like the you know the plays have been really really insane, but still his economy is a little bit too good for me. Where are you? Oh, you okay? You got turned away. Yeah, that's 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 not your fault. Can't really blame him for that one, can we? Okay, let's try to get a couple more nukes up. Maybe I should be a little aggressive. I'm gonna bring these ones as well because he already used his blink, of course. Get a couple more turrets up here. Yeah, I feel like his, his, his position up there is too unbreakable, but it's also too fresh of a base for me to ignore. Okay, there we go. Can I get this tank as well? I think it's worth it, right? Even if I lose something for it. Okay, there we go. We got a tank. That's really nice. Now I can probably push in here a little bit better. Okay, I mean, this looks pretty good. Here we go. We're going to be able to kill that tank as well. I mean, I don't think we can kill the rest here, though. I feel like for the rest, we probably have to back off. Okay, here we go. How many BCs is that left? He's going to land. Okay, he's going for it. I mean, this is my only chance to win here, I think. You see, the Widomai is absolutely popping off, though. But he does still have a couple of battle cruisers left, unfortunately. I do have one Widomai. Is that, that's the Banshee dying, right? Yeah, poor Banshee. He did such a good job. He still has a couple battle cruisers left here, though. And that is going to be it. 105 supply only on his side, guys. And this was... 100% the game of the series. I feel like this was an absolutely impossible situation. Mass BCs with just goes Widomai's and Banshees. Thanks, Turrets, and we almost made it happen. Look at the supply here, guys. 30 supply difference. And maybe I could have saturated another base earlier. That would have been perfect. But this is going to be it for the episode. You guys know me. If a, if a game is just too epic, I don't want to ruin the episode any further. Hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely epic Cloak the Grid Master game. Make sure to give a video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.